For over 40 years, the Ambrosio Chrysler Jeep, Chester County's number one dealership, has been offering the public outstanding savings and service. Now Danny's out to crush the competition. For a limited time, Dan's offering you employee pricing and rebates. Or how about $300 of free gas on any purchase of a new or pre-owned Chrysler or Jeep, or payments as low as $89 a month. So head to State Street in Kennett Square and find out why everyone loves a Danny D'Ambrosio deal. Delicious food, personal service, and great shopping at the market. A Delaware tradition. Bring family and friends Friday and Saturday 10 to 10, Sunday 10 to 6. Discover us on Route 13 across from the county airport. The Newcastle Farmer's Market. Fun stuff, great prices, and definitely not just for farmers. Get it all at the market. The Newcastle Farmer's Market has it all. Your car is important to you, so keep it clean and protected by taking it to Soft Touch Car Wash. Soft Touch offers an all-cloth wash that's safe for all finishes. Full services are offered for your car's exterior and interior, from hand wax to windows and everything in between. If you want the best, you want Soft Touch. And don't forget to pick up some Soft Touch coupon books for your favorite car owners. They're the perfect gift for any occasion. Call your nearest Soft Touch for more information. Brandywine Furniture's been selling national brand mattresses for 30 years. We have plush comfort ones. We have firm. If you need firm support, this is a firm mattress. If you want a great deal on a great mattress for a great tomorrow, come to Brandywine Furniture. Brandywine Furniture has been selling great tomorrows for 30 years. That's the end of this commercial. Hope to see you at Brandywine Furniture. Looks like Wilmington's under siege, but it's all in rehearsal of hopefully never having to do this. John Rago here with me with the city. What is going on today, John? Well, this is a, uh, Tim, a full-scale operation. Uh, it is, we're really lucky here in the city of Wilmington. You know, the mayor has tried to have us prepared for all kinds of emergencies, disasters, man-made and natural. And so we're really lucky to be able to conduct a full-scale operation today. This was a multifaceted operation that involved the takeover of a high school by terrorists. We had a hostage situation that had to be dealt with. We had the release of a chemical agent. We also had an explosion. Uh, our SWAT team and our emergency staff geared up, our bomb disposal squad uh, uh, geared up, 
and we moved in here and we were able to capture the terrorists and, uh, they, and they were apprehended. But this, as you're right, as you alluded to, you hope you never have to go through something like this, but this really helped us test our entire system to make sure that we are prepared. Now this will be evaluated and if we've, uh, if we've made some missteps, that's why we do these operations so that we can make the corrections. I think overall though, we're, we're thrilled we had more than 100 personnel from the city of Wilmington involved, including police, fire, emergency management. We also had assistance from Newcastle County, State of Delaware, DEMA, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. You would think that Wilmington was being taken over and many people got involved, but it's very important that everybody, in fact, I even met a gentleman that came down from National Guard that yeah. just heard about it going on. Right. He wanted to observe and see, because in today's times, like he was telling me, when the hurricane hit, all of a sudden now the guards got to come in What's to say that the guard's not going to have to come into this? So there's a lot of people. This is very important to people. Like I said, we don't want to ever see this happen, but just in case it does, I'm watching this. The professionalism, the, the way they're conducting air, uh, you've got to be very proud of the way the city's looking on the evaluation. Yeah, the, the mayor was here and observed most of the operation today, and I know he's very proud, and we really are. We're, we're proud to begin with of the outstanding Wilmington Fire Department and Wilmington Police Department, uh, but today they really have to show that extra level of expertise. Our SWAT team members are highly trained individuals who, unfortunately, uh, have to be pressed into service on these type of emergency situations. Uh, but we're very proud, and we're also very proud of the students and staff at Howard School of Technology. Uh, they, they were what they call players. This was a simulated test, so everyone who participated is called a player. Uh, but the students and the staff did a tremendous job, and this was all very, very real. They played real hostages. Um, they, we had real terrorists, if you will. And of course, these fine emergency management staff uh, were playing the real part of, of the folks who go in on the front lines like this. Yeah, Frank was telling me, uh, the, our camera guy today, he was uh, in there observing as he was going, and he said the hollering and screaming. He thought for a minute, is this real or is this fake? You know, because they made it real. I mean, they put, put it as a real as real could be. It, it was. You know, I was in, I sat in on some of the planning uh, meetings for this exercise, and we were all warned about how real it would be, and I've got to tell you, though, at one particular point when the uh, terrorists were bringing some of the student hostages up a hallway and actually moving them into the, uh, the principal's office, uh, and they were they were yelling uh, orders to them. They were pointing weapons at them, and it really sent a, a a little bit of a chill up my spine. And it really helped you understand how real these situations are, how dangerous these situations are, and why we have to be prepared. Yeah, and it's just so nice to, to, to be here and see how this all conducts, and knowing gives you a little bit of peace of mind as a citizen living in, in, within the city here. When when something's happening, you know you've got. I mean, the the amount of personnel that are out for this, you know you got all that to come to your rescue. Yeah, uh, and we hope that's, that is that is the ultimate uh, uh, purpose of all this. We want everyone in the city of Wilmington to understand that we are doing our utmost to make sure we are prepared for any disaster that may come along, natural or man-made. We have had other disasters in this country, Kat Katrina for one, which showed us that as much as we try to plan, uh, we may have faults and we may have holes. We need to plug those. We need to test every possible scenario in order to get ourselves prepared for whatever may happen. Hopefully it won't ever happen, yeah. uh, but but we feel good about what went on today. Well, hopefully we'll put this out there and we'll scare them away that's uh, thinking about right. happening, you know, because uh, it's good to let terrorists and, and people that yep. may be thinking that know that you're getting prepared for that. John, I know you're a busy man. you got reporters yep. going everywhere and everything, yeah, right, yeah. and I appreciate your time, but we're going to just take a look at some of this, let the folks see it at home as they're doing this. Thank you for your time, John. Well, thank you very much for being here and for sharing with the folks at home uh, what we're trying to do here in the city of Wilmington. Thanks, Dan. Really appreciate it. For over 40 years, the Ambrosio Chrysler Jeep, Chester County's number one dealership, has been offering the public outstanding savings and service. Now Danny's out to crush the competition. For a limited time, Dan's offering you employee pricing and rebates. Or how about $300 of free gas on any purchase of a new or pre-owned Chrysler or Jeep, or payments as low as $89 a month. So head to State Street in Kennett Square and find out why everyone loves a Danny D'Ambrosio deal.
When you want a new or pre-owned vehicle, you want the largest selection to choose from, right? You also want a relaxed, no-pressure atmosphere, right? Then you want Advantage Auto Land, four franchises, one stop. Just over the Delaware State Line on Route 40 in Elkton, Maryland. Your first stop is the five-star Chrysler Jeep dealership, which means customer satisfaction is the top priority. Looking for trucks? Then visit the award-winning Dodge dealership right next door. Ford more your stop. Advantage Ford's Blue Oval certified dealership is right across the street. Hit the Advantage, Advantage Auto Land. Blue Rocks Baseball is your ticket for fun, affordable family entertainment. Come enjoy the fun-filled atmosphere for the entire family. There's great food, fireworks, giveaways, and of course, Rocky Blue Winkle and Mr. Celery, and much, much more. So don't strike out with your family. To catch one of those exciting games, call 888-BLUE or log on to www.bluerocks.com. Help cheer your Blue Rocks on to another championship. You're hearing raves about it all over town. The hottest golf course out there, Town & Country Golf Links, right across the Delaware Memorial Bridge as you enter Woodstown, New Jersey. I'm telling you, if you're looking for a track to play that gives you excitement and challenges, you're going to find it right there at Town & Country Golf Links. And the nice thing about it is you've got that country club atmosphere, and, of course, it's going to make you use every club in your bag. Well-designed golf course, Town & Country Golf Links, Woodstown, New Jersey. Check it out today, Town & Country. Hey, we're here for another edition of Around Town Delaware. And guess what? We're at beautiful Blue, Wilmington Blue Rock Stadium, and we're just down here having some fun. And we got the kids down here getting autographs. You getting a lot of autographs? Yes, sir. Who'd you get so far? Uh, mm, everybody almost. <laughs> Are you waiting for a specific guy yet? Uh, no, I got other people. I got my pitching coach, Mr. Mike Cather, so pretty happy about that. Okay, what position do you play, big guy? You play? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. And I see the ladies down here. You guys getting your autographs? Yes. And who you guys looking for? Um, well, base, one of the baseball players. Okay, did they come out yet and get your autograph? No. You want me to go down there and holler at them for you? Yes. Okay, you let me tell you a couple more guys, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. See, this guy's chewing. He's chewing. That's big league right there. Big league right there. You having fun yet? Yeah. Is it kind of hot out here? Yeah. But you ready for your autographs, man? You're going to stick around till you get your players, right? Yeah. And who you down here with? You with your buddies with that? My cousins. Okay, and y'all guys get out to a lot of the games? Yeah. Oh, man, this guy, he talked too much for me. I got to find somebody else. Well, I tell you, we're going to be all out. We're going to be watching the players. We're going to go out and tell some more fans. I'm going to probably get Rocky Bowwinkle, but I don't think he can hang yet. I don't think he can hang with me yet. But as we get around and see the players and get the autographs, we're just going to keep going around the stadium. And I'll tell you, it's a beautiful day down here. The heat's not bothering you guys, is it? No. No. See, the ladies love the heat, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, you do? Oh, I ain't getting none. Oh, see, she's stingy. She's stingy. <laughs> hey, y'all guys get the Rocky Bow Wiggle yet? Call him out. Hey, Rocky! Hey, Rocky! Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> Well, I tell you, we're just having a ball out here. Rocky's having a ball. He just came back. I think he's going to get some batting practice. This is my man, I tell you. How's it going, Rocky? Having a lot of fun? Is it too hot for you? I tell you, man. I tell you, Rocky, it's my show. You're talking too much. You got to get out of here. You guys having fun? Yeah. Love getting out to the Blue Rocks game? Yeah, it's fun. You guys going to cheer more and get ready for the second half of the season? Yeah. Who's going to win it all? Blue Rocks. All right. That's what we want to hear. You guys ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Who's going to win it all? Blue Rocks. Way to go, fellas. We're just out here having fun. I tell you what, the sun has finally gone down. But we're here having some fun. You got a lot of people out here. And I'm looking at the shirts. These are really nice shirts. Look at this. Somebody did a great job. These are guys out here to cheer on the Blue Rocks. Oh, I tell you, she's a little nervous. I guess she's looking for somebody here. I tell you, you here to cheer on the Blue Rocks? <laughs> oh, see, that's what I like. The kids, they know all of it. Are you having fun yet? I like your balloons. They look just like you. It's a pretty outfit. I tell you, girl, this is my show. You're doing too much talking. I have to find somebody else. Hey, guys, you ready for a game today? Yeah, I can't wait. I tell you, thank God the heat, the heat done closed off. Huh? Yeah, finally. I tell you, the Blue Rocks are trying to get a nice win tonight. I tell you, they took a loss last night, but they need this win tonight. What you think? Just pull it off. They'll pull it off. Yeah, I got to find some pretty women. These guys are just zerking me up. I can't take this. Hey, ladies, we coming down. What are you guys out here celebrating? Um, I'm Rebecca Saxon, and this is uh, one of our special events for friends, family, and clients. And you, the Blue Rocks let you guys come out here? I'll tell you, they gave you the hottest day of the week, didn't they? 
Well, actually, I, th I worked my magic, and I picked the hottest day of the week. Oh, see, women knows it all. We're trying to keep it hot. Keep it hot with Rebecca Saxton. So, you know, we can't do much better than this. Right? Looking forward to the good game? Absolutely. But well, see, the sun's went down. It's getting a little cooler. That's good for me. Oh, why is that better for you? Because I can talk longer to you. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> you have a lot of friends out here? Yes, we do. We have, uh, we have all the sections here. Everybody, all these fine people here are with us. So all three, we're going to go go Blue Rocks. One, two, three. Go! And we're having a good time waiting for the Blue Rocks to get out here so they can take on the Pelicans and get some wins tonight. We need a win tonight. What do you guys think? I heard that. I tell you, you ready for the game, man? You just maxing and relaxing. You ready for the game? <laughs> of course, of course. Have you been following the team? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. I know a little something about the Blue Rocks. Are you just here for the food? Uh, I ain't going to lie to you. They got barbecue <laughs> chicken, brother. <laughs> All right, you play ball, man? Yeah. What position? Uh, Outfielder. Outfield? So you, you really you're looking forward to the game tonight? Yeah. And with, how, how's your game? How's your game, man? Good. What grade you in? Eighth. What school you at? Gauger. All right, man. I like Gauger School. My son actually went to Gauger, man. That's a great school. I tell you, the people are out here, they're just having a great time. It's always a good time here at the Blue Rocks. I always like to get the little guys. One thing about the little guys, they really, really understand the game. The guy, the little guys understand the game. What's up, big guy? What's up? You enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm enjoying myself. What school you at? I go to Pulaski. Are you a ball player? Huh? No, not really. I'm learning <laughs> baseball, though. You learning it? Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite position? I don't know, like catcher or uh, okay. batting. Okay, yeah, we all like to bat. We just like to hit the ball, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the most fun <laughs> part of the game. And what's your name, big guy? Tommy. Nice to meet you, Tommy. Around town, Delaware, we're just out here having fun, meeting the kids, meeting the parents, meeting the little ones. Everybody's having a great time today? You know, this is TV. You can't just nod your head. You know, we need to have so, You know, it's almost like being on radio saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having a great time? Yes, sir. I tell you, you ain't let the heat deter you? Say that again? You didn't let the heat deter you? Nah, well, it's a little bit, yes. A little bit, but it's nice. What you think is going to be a great game tonight? Uh, it should be, yes. We need the second half, don't we? Yes, we do. I hope we get it tonight. Get started tonight. We need this win tonight. That sounds like a good good idea. You just out here enjoying yourself? Yes, sir. I'm going to get one of them backpacks, too. I need one. I got to find me a backpack. You get an autograph? Uh, no. Daughter's oh. over there. She's looking for autographs. Okay, well, Dan, you better help her. You got to be Bogart. Get some of these guys to sit their autograph. Okay, sounds good. Uh -huh. Hey, you guys, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being out here. Delaware, we're here around town. Beautiful Blue Rock Stadium. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I need some of that. You guys got to get out here. You know what? The Blue Rocks are going to go to the end of this month, August, September. We're out here. What's up, big guy? Oh, you hiding, huh? Don't supposed to be out past your bedtime. I got you. Well, we're just having a lot of fun, and we're just out here, and the people are out here having fun, and everybody's enjoying themselves. We all want to see Wilmington Blue Rocks get a win tonight, right? Yeah! We'll see you again around town, Delaware. When you want a new or pre-owned vehicle, you want the largest selection to choose from, right? You also want a relaxed, no-pressure atmosphere, right? Then you want Advantage Auto Land, four franchises, one stop. Just over the Delaware State Line on Route 40 in Elkton, Maryland. Your first stop is the five-star Chrysler Jeep dealership, which means customer satisfaction is the top priority. Looking for trucks? Then visit the award-winning Dodge dealership right next door. Ford more your stop. Advantage Ford's Blue Oval certified dealership is right across the street. Hit the Advantage, Advantage Auto Land. Delicious food, personal service, and great shopping at the market. A Delaware tradition. Brings family and friends Friday and Saturday, 10 to 10, Sunday, 10 to 6. Discover us on Route 13 across from the county airport. The Newcastle Farmer's Market. Fun stuff, great prices, and definitely not just for farmers. Get it all at the market. The Newcastle Farmer's Market has it all. Why go everywhere when you can get what you need in one place? With Nationwide Insurance, you don't have to go everywhere. Combine auto and home. It's not just convenient, it could save you up to 20%. Searching for those specialty items? Why not try Country Help? Located next to Value City on the Kirkwood Highway, you'll find a large selection of vitamins, herbs, and many vegetarian products. 
open seven days a week to serve you. Their friendly and knowledgeable staff will help you with all your questions. Stop by or give us a call. Country Health, how's your health? Hi, welcome to this part of Around Town. I'm Kevin Powers. I'm here with Karen James. How are you, Karen? Great. How are you? Good, thanks. Now, you might remember Karen from the Tim Qual show. We got we had you on and you were talking about the the blood drive and et cetera. So we're actually here to film someone going from start through the end of the process so everybody can see how painless it is. That's right. It takes about an hour and I believe your colleague Kurt is here and so far he's done the registration process and right now he's in the medical medical interview. Right. And then he'll be here in the donor room with us in a few minutes to save a life and what we say be someone's hero. Right. All right, so let's just let's walk us through. We came in and you I saw he has this uh, pretty much of a lot of information to read over before he goes to, I guess, to see if he really wants to do it? Well, what happens is that you'll come in and your um, personal information is, is registered in our system, your name, address, telephone number, that kind of thing. Then what we do is we hand you some materials to read that tells you what we test your blood for so that you know uh, when you come in how safe the blood donation is and how safe your blood is if it's going to a patient. Um, and then what we do is if we are test, if your blood tests positive for um, any infectious disease, we'll of course destroy that unit, notify the, the donor. And uh, the next step is that um, once you agree to the process is that we take you into a medical interview room and you're interviewed in terms of where you've traveled, medications you're taking, um, personal behavioral risks, that kind of thing. We also have what's called a mini physical. We mm -hmm. take your blood pressure, temperature, pulse, and we check your iron, le iron level. Really? And if all that checks out okay, then you're good to go and you can move into the third part, which is the donation process. Okay. Now, I remember when I did it, I've done it before, but there was like questions like if you had a tattoo recently and, and things that you wouldn't normally think of that would like, you know, um, stop you from being able to donate. But there, you guys get very in-depth because you want to make sure the blood's safe. Absolutely. There are um, FDA regulations, of course, that we follow, and we are also very strict with, of course, what we require in order for you to be eligible to give blood. So you can have a tattoo and give blood, um, but you cannot have it within the past 12 months. We do right. ask that you wait a year in between tattoos, but we have plenty of people with tattoos who are donating um, on a frequent basis, and we're very happy about that. Oh, I, I didn't mean you could, and I just meant it's funny that they ask you that because it, the needle, and even though, you know, so. But I, I just like to, I was just like to point out that you guys are very safe very and safe. secure. That's our first priority. All right, so now we've gone through that, we've had our test, we've had our mini physical, and then we're going to come in and we're going to give the blood. And that part, if I remember from Tim's show, you said it's really only about 10 minutes. Five to eight minutes about. So the, the longest part is the medical interview process, which takes about 10 to 15, and then giving a pint of blood takes about five to eight minutes, and you're done, and you go on to the uh, final stage, which is the cookie and juice part, which everyone loves, and uh, no one ever, ever has a problem with that. There's uh, cookies of your choice and anything you want to drink. We ask that you stay there for about 15 minutes, and you're good to go. Okay. Now, um, let's go into this while we're waiting for Kurt to come in, because he's in the middle of his uh, medical process. You guys are in the middle of a, a blood drive right now, right? It's called the Summer Blood Challenge, and we're in its, uh, it's in its fourth year. It's a very friendly competition between 80 employers in Newcastle and Cecil County. And what they do is they start in late May and they go through September and they compete to be the most, uh, like the top life-saving company of the region. What they do is they vie for points for the most blood donors from their company, the most blood bank members, the most participants between the ages of 17 and 35, which I'll uh, focus on in a minute, and then the number of folks who had walked or run in our um, 5K recently, and that's a fundraiser for the Summer Blood Challenge. Now, I'd mentioned the need for young blood, 17 to 35. We want you if you're 17 or 117, but we don't see a lot of folks under 35 in our blood centers, and Kurt is the exception to the rule. We're, we're glad to see young blood in here because we need them to come in and be the next generation of blood donors for us. Well, is their blood different than mine as far as, um, I don't know? Absolutely not. It's just that we need them to come in and fill the gap of the older donors that are going to be aging out of the system and have done their duty for years and years. Right. And we need folks under 35 to come in and step up and do their civic duty. Um, so their blood is just as good as anyone who's over 35. But uh, it's just that it's, it's rare because we don't see it. Right. We don't see them in our centers as much as we'd like to. Okay. Now, I also wanted to touch on um, if I were to give blood today, then I am a member of the, the Blood Bank of Delmarva, which entitles me to what? Well, if you, you can give blood without being a member, but we do recommend that you join the Blood Bank as a member because what that means is that if you or your spouse or any tax-dependent um, person 
in your household would ever need a blood transfusion at a Delmarva hospital, that blood would be paid for, the actual blood unit of blood itself. Right. Your insurance company pays for the processing and testing probably of that transfusion, but it won't pay for the actual blood product. Right. Most people receive red blood cells. Here in our area, they're about $30 a pint. Okay. So if you needed 100 pints, that's $3,000 that you would be out. Right. Um, if you belong to the Blood Bank of Delmarva, we cover that cost for you. We also cover that cost for you if you're on vacation or on a business trip in Michigan, California, Texas, and you needed blood uh, because you were in an accident in that state. If you're in our group membership plan, your blood is covered in another state as well. Wow. If you're an individual member, it's covered for up to $400. Okay. So we do recommend group membership over individual, right. but we recommend any membership period just, just in case because you never know because you can't plan an accident. They just happen, and right. lots is of folks a, who have them need cost? blood. For it to be in the group or it's an individual? It's $5 a year, and many employers cover that $5 fee for you. So either one, if you're individual or group, it's only 5 That's correct. So sign up for the good one, people. <laughs> um, now, you, you said something that reminded me of when you were on the show with Tim, that you separate the blood into three different categories. So there's the red cells that you mentioned, and then... Red cells, platelets and plasma. And a lot of cancer and leukemia patients need platelets because it's the clotting factor in their system and when they go through chemotherapy they lose a lot of that um, factor and they don't they don't have good platelets is what we call it. So if you have an affinity for a cancer and leukemia person, you want to do something to help them, you should try to give whole blood first, but then we also have a platelet process. You can be a platelet donor. It takes about two hours. You get to watch a movie of your choice mm -hmm. and you're treated like gold, um, just like blood donors are. So. I would recommend that you become a whole blood donor or a platelet donor. Either way, you're saving lives. And you can save up to three because your donation can be broken down into red cells, platelets, and plasma. Okay. So you're, you're helping three different people with one donation, possibly. Possibly, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, and do you do the separation here on this on the premises? I know we're at, we're at the uh, Wilmington location right now, but you also have one in Christiana and... That's right. We have two main uh, locations in Newcastle County. One is, of course, the one we're at now, the Wilmington Center at uh, Market Street, and then the Christiana Center right across from Christiana Hospital. That's our, uh, our headquarters. That's yeah, where that's we do right. all the breakdown, processing, testing of all of our units of blood. Uh, lastly, but not least, but how long can you store blood? I mean, and, and how often can I donate? Great questions. Um, first of all, you can donate every 56 days. And blood only lasts 42 days outside the body, so we can store it for 56 days, like I said. Um, but you can donate, I'm sorry, we can store it for 42 days, but it la you can donate every 56. So the short of it is, donate about every two months. The blood, even though we can store it for up to 42 days, lasts about a week or two on our shelves, and it's gone, it's out the door, it's, it's to patients in local hospitals, and we need to keep refilling that stock every day. Right, okay, so the, the fallacy that they have too much blood and it just gets thrown away is incorrect. We've just heard that. So get out, give blood, join the community, and help a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hi, welcome back. This is Kurt. You've been watching him donate the blood. Say, say hi, Kurt. Hey, everybody. All right, so tell me, what made you start? Why did you want to give blood in the first place? Um, I heard that a lot of people my age, between the ages of 18 and uh, 30, aren't given that much blood. So I decided I'd come down and give blood. Also, there's good benefits if you um, ever need blood yourself or your family members, as blood is for free if you donate on a regular basis. So. Right, exactly. And I watched you go through it. You know, you read the information. You made an informed choice. It, it's taken probably less than less than an hour so far. Less than that, probably. Here, hold my mic for a minute. All right. You I get a sweet sticker now. You do. I'm giving you a little, little sticker. All right. So now, all the way up to it, you enjoy the view. They have a lovely view here while you give blood. Yeah, and they got TV, so you can relax, sit there and watch the news or Sports Center. Right. Now, you, and you're an awfully quick bleeder. I understand. You were, you were, you almost beat the three-minute bag minute. I have a marathon bleeding. <laughs> they said that I had a really low uh, heart rate too, almost close to marathon runner. So I guess I'm healthy. All right. Well, we hope so. Here now, you're supposed to have a cookie while you're while you're waiting, so you get your sugar back up, so you can so we can leave. Um, so uh, tell everybody that they should come do this because if you can do it, then we all could be able to do it, don't you think? Yeah, you should be doing it next. I've already done it. I did it before you in uh, at the Christiana location. I still have 30 days to go before I can go again. Well, everybody my age or up should come out and give blood right here in Wilmington. Um, just call and make an appointment. It's easy. There you have it.